Hi everyone, I'm just going to quickly go over the brush stroke with you. What I like to do is to create three brush strokes at the same time and I use the line segment tool to do this. So this is the line segment tool. I click once onto that and once onto my work surface and here I type in one millimeter and zero angle and go OK. You'll notice that I don't have any fill in it and I just have a black stroke. That's exactly what I want. I'm going to zoom up to that now and I'm actually going to come to my stroke panel and make the cap a round cap and back to selection. I've now got the basis of my one needle brush. I'm going to copy that but before I do that I'm going to go into my preferences I'm on a Mac so what I'm going to do is go Illustrator and General and here after having done your general units as millimeters I'm going to make my keyboard increment one millimeter and OK. Now I'm going to copy this so if I press my Alt key you'll see the double arrow come up if I use my arrow keys I'll move it over to the right and my down arrow still pressing ALT with that selected line. I'm going to create my two needle. I'll now copy this over to the right again as well. So using keyboard increments I'm going to make the bottom line a little bit further away. So just a tiny bit I'm holding SHIFT and I'm dragging it so that it's still in line with the top and this one is going to be my cover stitch. To create my cover stitch I usually just type the letter Y and I do it in lower case. So I select my type tool, type Y. Um, I use my standard so at the moment I've got Myriad Pro, you can use Arial, whatever you want, but just something very simple and then I come into object and expand the object. So now it is no longer a font. I'll make that smaller and what I'm going to do is just using my eye put it into the middle. I've got three brushes ready to go and I'm going to come to the brush tool. So that little pot of brushes there. Select the first one which is single needle, new brush, pattern brush, OK. I'm going to type one needle. I like to have my corners the same and I usually like auto centered and my colorization method at tints or hue shift, whatever it is you want to do, both work as well as each other. I'm going to just test that and what you will see once I test it is that you can't really see any gap. So if I want to edit that brush stroke again, I double click on the brush stroke and I'm going to change my spacing here to 30% and OK. It's asking me to apply to strokes, yes, and there you see it at 30%. Same will go for my two needle, new brush, pattern brush, OK. Here I'll change my spacing to 30. I'll call it two needle and corners will be auto centered, colorization will be tints OK. So if I just select that again I can check that that's OK. If we put a new color into the, fill, into the stroke you'll see that it changes color. Finally my cover stitch. Again new brush, pattern brush, OK. I'm going to do auto centered and auto centered. This time I'm going to make the distance or the spacing 20%. I'm going to call that cover and I'll change colorization to tints or hue shift whatever it is you want to use and OK and there's my cover stitch. So very very simply we've done two needle, a one needle and a cover stitch that all relate to each other and you can use those. Those are in your library forever. You can open those up in any other file. Thanks for watching.